to a dog walking and pet sitting service called Let's Walk Chicago. The family owned operation clocked over 20,000 walks in 2019, but in March, business plummeted 90%. VP and owner Gina Deanna joins us now from the Windy City. Gina, thanks for joining us tonight. How have you been coping with that kind of loss of business since March? You know, we really, it's been tough, but we have been, we have noticed how amazing our client base is and how amazing just our staff have been throughout this. So that has really helped us a lot. Um, continue, we, we've been continuing to do uh, dog walks for people who can, who need us. You know, we've been uh, serving those frontline workers and those essential workers, and we're so honored to be able to continue to service them. Um, you know, but our, our walkers have honestly been truly amazing throughout this, and, and we have retained 100% of them, and that is something that we're most proud of. I think that um, it's really incredible how persistent you've been throughout all of this. I know in addition to the 90% decrease in revenues, um, you and your family also forfeited salaries as owners to make sure that your employees got paid. So I think that that is really notable. And I also know that your clients stepped forward with Walker Relief uh, in a fund to make sure that your employees got paid. And meanwhile, uh, I'm aware of all the things that you mm -hmm. do with the community, with the animal shelters and, and walking the dogs of frontline workers. So kudos to you for really stepping up in terms of leadership. You know, I, I also noticed that you have adapted some of your services in the new environment, providing transport for, for some of the dogs to vets and also creating a low contact walk with gloves and masks and sanitizers. So I think that you've been very thoughtful on the services front. What I want to focus in on with you is the tremendous opportunity you have in front of you with so many people that were staying at home and basically adopted a dog for the first time and emptied out the animal shelters. You have all of these new clients waiting for you on the other side that I'm so, you know, I'm so excited uh, for you with, with this opportunity. And I'm wondering a few thoughts here. Have you thought about some of the products that you might potentially provide. I, I don't know if you've had a robust e-commerce strategy to date, but there's so many opportunities to sell leashes, uh, poop bags, dog treats. What, what are your thoughts on e-commerce opportunities? Yeah, that is definitely something that we've considered um, and something that we think might help us going forward. I mean, as you know, this, is, this industry is all about our clients having to go into an office. And I know after this, it, it may be different. Um, a lot of people's jobs may be working from home most of the time. So, you know, I think that adding products would be a great opportunity to continue um, with the revenue. Well, on that related front, have you thought about some of the opportunities you have on the content front too? You have all of these new dog owners that are coming in and really need to be educated. And there are so many things that you can teach them, whether it's how to groom their pets, potty training for the first time, how to deal with separation anxiety if they're going back to the workplace. Have you thought about putting out videos or other content to really solidify that relationship with them? Yeah, continuing education is super important and we do want to continue, you know, to teach them uh, a lot about the separation anxiety. With everything going on, the dogs are going through a complete different transition period where they've been with their owners more than they've ever have in their entire life. So, you know, them going back to work is going to be super different for them. And that's something that we definitely want to help both our clients, prospective clients, as well as the dogs um, go through. So that's definitely something that we plan on doing. And one other thought on the supplemental income from, you know, one, one of the things I'm seeing across portfolio companies and broadly in the market is um, the creation of new revenue offerings. Let's say there's a package of walks that you could sell people so you get a little bit of the upfront income, but then also have that relationship established so that they're walking with you over time. What can you do in terms of creating new packages or new revenue offerings for a lot of these um, new dog owners? You know, I know that there are a lot of companies um, that are that type of subscription based where they pay ahead of time for a specific amount of walks. Um, we that really hasn't been an interest of ours, uh, but we do treat our clients like that. They are they do sign up with us and they are a part of our family from there on out. So whenever they need us, we're there for them. 
Um, I don't know if that's something that we would do going forward just as a subscription because that it's, it's something that does make us stand out from other companies that we enjoy.